um, how you accomplished that? Um, Dennis writes like that. Dennis, Dennis sits in cafes and listens to people and he, and he writes down what, what, what they're saying. And that is, you know, if you've ever, if you've ever seen a Robert Altman film, um, it's very much kind of Altman-esque in that way that, you know, one thing that you can do these days in, in modern films is have these kind of very discreet mics. Everybody has them now, as well as being boomed. And the sound from a boom is way better than a sound from here, but of second, if you can't get the boom. But the problem for, for um, editing is that if everybody's talking at all the same time, and Ed is talking all the time, whether you want him to or not, he will put in, you know, anything at any point. And a couple of the others would as well, but... Um, not like Ed. But not like Ed. And he has but, seniority. So, yeah. No one tells Ed. So there's a lot of... Um, but, but, but when Todd was editing, he had to sort of find a way. Say, Todd, like yes, to Todd, get in here. Would you like to speak yes. to that? It was very musical, I'll say that. <laughs> and really just balancing... <clears throat> excuse me. And really just balancing the right rhythm throughout, especially those really heavy scenes where he does deliver most of the dialogue, we sort of just structured. It was very musical, actually. And then built kind of around that and sort of built everybody into this one big sort of symbiosis, I guess you can say. Or cacophony, depending or on. Or cacophony. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, um, speaking of musically, the score of this film is so lovely. And of course, the, um, you know, the significance of the song at the end with the title of the film, I was hoping you could speak a bit about that and the film was originally called Columbia, Missouri, which is where it was, and it was called that for many, many years. It was Columbia MA, and um, MO, rather, I'm so sorry. And, um, and, and um, we had always had two or three sort of Irish songs in there. It's an Irish family, and the, 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 the sort of song, singing tradition was very much part of it. And The Parting Glass is this beautiful song about <laughs> about saying goodbye to a loved one, raising a glass. The parting glass is the last glass that you raise to somebody at the wake when you say goodbye to them, and it seemed particularly apt. Um, it's sung in the, in the, in the film by a, an amazing folk artist from Britain called Sam Lee, who came to Nate's studio, our, our composer, and sang it to screen. So we played the that segment, and I told him where I wanted it to start and where I wanted it to begin. He watched it a couple of times, and then he sang to screen 